Hi there, um, my name is Glory and you're welcome to Carrie's Fashion Academy. Today I want to show you how to cut a six pieces skirt. Okay, so this is our fabric and I use an average of three yards to cut six pieces skirt because I plan to have each tier and um, each uh, panel should have at least 18 inches. So if we go by the calculation, 18 inches for each panel, that means we have six panels. Six panels multiplied by 18 will give us um, 108. That's three yards. So I use three yards to make um, six pieces skirt. 18 inches is half a yard. So um, 36 will be one yard. That's for two panels. Another 36 for another two panels. Another 36 for another two panels. That's three yards. That's how I came about that calculation. So let's start. The, the hip of this person is 42 and the waist is 36. So I'm going to divide her waist measurement by 6. 36 divided by 6 will give me 6. And um, 46, 42, which is her hip divided by 6, will give me um, 7. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Just wanted to be sure. So I have 6 for the waist and 7 for the hip. So I'll start by measuring the length of the skirt. The length is 45 and a half. I'm going to add um, one inch extra for folding. So that gives me 46 and a half. Then I'll come over here and I'll mark. Okay. I'll mark. Um, eight inches from the waist down eight inches that's where i'm going to be marking my hip measurement then i'll come down to her knee is 19 inches but i'm going up by three inches so that's 16. so i'm going to start my her knee around let me say 16 and a half inches because I don't want it to be too tight around the knee area. I'm going up because I don't want the knee to be tight so that she can be able to walk freely. So that's why I'm going up. I hope you can see my chalk mark. Okay. So this is where I'm marking the knee measurement over here. And the length is that way. So because we said, I'm cutting the center piece first. Because we said that um, we want each panel to have 18 inches, I'm going to make sure that this is 9 inches more than nine inches i'm going to reduce that measurement let me position my camera all right so i have nine inches here now nine inches so i'm going to start marking my measurement putting my measurements into these lines this is my waistline here and we measured six we divided the six by six and we got six inches so that's six inches i don't put the whole six inches here because this is on fold when you open it, it's going to give you the full center front that's the middle piece of the six pieces skirt right so Instead of putting the whole thing, I'm going to divide it by two since it's on fold. So instead of three, six, I'm going to mark three plus half inch sewing allowance. That's this way. Then down here, excuse me, down here, I'm going to mark, um, instead of seven inches, I'm dividing by two since my fabric is on fold. It's two. That will give me 3.5 plus half inch sewing allowance. So instead of 3.5, I'll mark four. Then to the knee, whatever measurement you have here, transfer it to the knee, which is four, then take out half inch so that the knee will be properly shaped. Then I want to connect the marks. Connecting the marks now, using my hip corvilla, I use the straight part to connect. So yeah, I'll come. Yeah, I'll use the reverse to connect from the waist, the hip rather, to the knee area. Then I'll use the longer one to connect all the way to the bottom part. Okay. 
just have to blend a bit because there's no sharp part in the woman's body. From the bottom part, I'll take out half an inch and slant it a bit so that that part will not be angled and will be too sharp. Let me get my camera closer so that you can see what I have marked. Then on this um, lower part here, I'm going to take out half an inch so that this part around the middle area will not be too sharp. So I've taken out that half inch, then I'll cut now. So this is our center piece. If you open it up like I was explaining, you see that it is the full middle of the six piece skirt. So I'll go, I'll use this now to cut the back where the zip will be. So I'll include the zip allowance. If you're not in the YouTube, I'll... Right. So I'm cutting the back piece where the zip allowance will be. If you, as you can see, I have, I have an extra um, space here where the zip will stay. I don't want my zip allowance to be more than an inch wide. That's where I'm reducing it. Okay, I think I have what I need right now. So I'm going to mark the knee area. This part that I said the knee area, I have to control that part. So I'm going to take out half an inch from that place so that my back has some shape. So from here, I'm going up uh, close to where the hip is. From the hip area, I will come down by three inches. Three inches so that you don't tamper with your hip measurements. From here as well, um, maybe six inches. I'll blend. You have to blend it in such a way that it enters as if you are not making an effort. The bottom part also, I'm going to take out half an inch and I'll increase the length at the back by half inch so that if the bomb lifts it up, it will be shorter than the front. So we are good and I can cut. So this is my back, this is my back, and now this is my front. Please, after you have cut your back and you have done the contouring, you will notice that it has a bit, the shape is a bit like the one in the middle. So you have to put a mark to indicate where your zip will be. If not, it can be confusing. That's why I'm putting this mark here. This will show me that this is where I'm fixing my zip. So I'm going now to cut the sides. I've cut two, two, one piece in front, one at the back. The back usually has a cut. But we still call it six pieces because you need to fix the zip. So I'm going to cut the sides right now. We have the sides now. I've folded my fabric into two because I want to cut two at the at a time. For this, we don't cut on fold, we cut two pieces. We call it cut two piece because one of these will go on either side of the middle, one on the left side, one on the right side. I've marked my length. The next thing I want to do is share my fabric into two. Since I said this part is 18 inches, I want to share it into two, which will give me nine inches. Because I want my um, flare to be centralized. I don't want it to be too much on one side. Don't mind that it looks as if there's nothing here. Just share it into two, like I said. All right, now I've done that. This is my waistline. I'm going to mark my hip line. I said my hip is around eight um, inches. Okay. Then my knee is 
so my, my fabric has been shared into two next i want to do remember our measurements the waist is six inches so for the sides you know there's going to be hip on this one there's no hip on the middle one because there's going to be hip here so that means that we need to put sewing allowance for the hip where it will be joined so that means i'm going to do one and a half i usually leave one and a half inch allowance sewing allowance for my hip side then for the middle i'm leaving just half an inch so if we add that together that's two inches plus six inch that's eight together so i'm sharing this into two i'll mark four over here i'll mark the remaining four over here i'm sharing it like this because i want one side to be straight and one side to carry the shape of the hip so over here remember we said our hip is seven seven plus two inch two inch being half extra here one and a half around the hip area so i'm going to mark this four inch like i marked here four then i'm putting the rest on this side the remaining parts that's nine over here then i said whatever you put on the hip take it to the knee so this will give me four inch over here then i'll mark the remaining parts to give me nine so for this knee we're taking out half an inch here half an inch here so that we can have the fishy shape the next thing is to connect the point this is a straight line so i'm going to use a straight ruler straight this is also slightly straight so i'm connecting it to the half inch allowance i took out you can see the other mark is there but i followed the half i took in for this part which takes the shape of the hip i'm using the straight part not too curved because the shape is not so curved don't force the shape follow your measurement trust your measurement so i have that so i'm flipping the ruler so that i can have my knee area shaped in so i have this then i'm using the straight ruler to connect the rest all the way to the end i'll do the same on the other side so you see why we shared we had to share the fabric into two equal parts so that the the fish shape can be centralized the flare can be centralized it shouldn't be all on one side both of them should have it so that your six pieces doesn't look lopsided you just try to blend a little bit then i said for this part that is going to be joined to the middle here you need to cut out half an inch so that you don't have a funny angle in that middle area but you don't touch this part that's around the hip area so this is our side i'm going to label here side seam ss i'm going to label here center side that's the center this the one that is at the side in the center so i'm cutting this out now i want to cut out the second uh, sides the one that will be at the back the one i cut earlier was the one in front so i'm cutting the sides for the back i folded my fabric into two again so that i can cut two pieces at once so i'm going to take the one i just cut and put it over the folded fabric so i can have my other two pieces to complete the six pieces i want to make okay this will not work flip it yes this is better make sure that your flare is centralized don't put it all on one side so don't try to manage your fabric by placing it like this you now move this one here and move it like this no that's wrong make sure that it is straight make sure this part touches the straight line this one is also on the straight line. Last two pieces of my 
six pieces skirt. So after this, we have our complete six pieces. This side is always four. The middle is one. Then you use the middle to cut the back and include your um, seat allowance. So that makes it six. But the middle always, the back always has um, a cut so that you'll be able to fix yours as it is. I used uh, three yards to cut my six piece skirt. I'm going to label this now and count it for you so that you can see all the pieces that are cut. It's very important that you label your clothes after you cut because when you want to cut or maybe somebody else is sewing for you, they need to understand what you have done. So this is SS, which is, means um, side seam. So over here I have one, two, three, four side pieces. One here, one here, one at the back, one at the other side. That's four pieces. Then I have two center pieces. One center piece, that's this one. That's for my middle in front. Then I have the last piece, that's this one. It's in two, which goes to the back where the zip will be. So I hope this has helped you. Try it and let's see what comes out. Thank you for watching. Now please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye. Hello guys. Okay, time to sew our six pieces skirts. This is the middle piece. Okay. I've opened it. And this is the two the sides we cut there are two of it so remember the side we did center side so this is a place i wrote cs so we're going to attach cs to one side and then the other cs to the other side then the part that says ss that's the side seam that one goes to the hip so i'm going to join join them now Joining with half inch it was half inch we cut with. <coughs> this is the end. So we join two by joining the third part. So the part that says CS, that's the part I'm joining to the second side of the middle piece we cut out. The same half inch we left, that's what we're sewing with. Don't join in the second part of the six piece skirt. So this is the front part now. We have three pieces. You can see one joining here, another joining here. So this is the skirt. This is the skirt. I'm going to start the back now. I'm with the back right now. This is the back piece. These are the center um, sides. These are the side pieces, two of them. Then this is the back, the center back, where you have the zip. So this is the center back where you have the zip. You can see the line I marked. That's, where the, that's what indicates where the zip will be. I'm going to pin that part now, because I'm not joining on it. Then I'll take the part where I wrote my center side. This is it. I also drew a line to show me where to join. I drew a line at the back as well. So I'm taking one of it, one of that part that has the line. I'm going to sew right side facing the right side. 
of the, the center piece at the back. So right side facing right side. So as you can see, the wrong side is out. The right wrong side with the chalk is out. I'll show that now. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. The same half inch allowance that I left for sewing. That's what I'm going to be sewing with. So I'm at the end of the last um, joining for the back. Let me show you what it looks like. So I have two pieces. This part, remember, I pinned. So I have two parts here for one side of the back, two parts here for the other side of the back. I want to go and iron it and sew the lining as well so that you can see um, what it looks like after it's ironed. All right, so I'm done with the ironing. This is the front part. Same way the fabric is sewn. Let me go and join them now. 